Hey everybody, this is your girl Savage Sab, and today we're back at Walmart again. We're coming to get some much needed uh, items to add to our pantry. Uh, as you know, we are uh, working our uh, working pantry so that we can always refill so that in the case of an emergency or a hard time, we have enough things and items in our stockpile to keep us going. So today uh, we are working uh, basically about 50 dollar budget we're just gonna pick up a few things to replenish what we have on our stockpile so without further ado guys let's go see what we're gonna pick up today at Walmart and see how empty these shelves look today okay let's go okay everybody so we're gonna start by looking at these scrumptious strawberries we're not gonna buy them but every time i come into walmart i am so drawn to these big beautiful strawberries compared to other stores unfortunately walmart hands down you lose with the price because most uh stores that i've been seeing they are marked down so uh, i'm gonna get some uh much needed produce uh, starting with our spring onions and our fresh cilantro every time i come in here it is so fresh and it's marked down very low as low as 40 cents per stalk for our spring onions or green onions as you may call them as well as uh, our cabbage that was that's right next to it in the cilantro uh, i brought my son along with me today uh, he is the best helper there is this side of heaven and he's getting ready to go back to college. So we try to spend as much time as we can whenever he has doesn't have band practice or not doing things with uh, music. So today he's coming along with me and is going to help me as I'm filming in the stores, as I'm uh, laughing. We just take advantage of the time that we have. So I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> if it looks like I'm talking to somebody else, I'm talking to my awesome son. These cabbages, guys they are so small now i remember they used to be so big you couldn't even fit them in the bag and now you almost have to buy two and you can put them in the same bag nevertheless let's go so next we're going to go and pick up some bread here i'm choosing to pick up a long loaf of french bread french bread not only will go with my pasta for the week but it also can be made into a sandwich um next we have some tortillas our tortillas um Compared to two other local stores in uh, the Houston area where I'm at, these are by far the cheapest, $1.68. And guys, they are now available on WIC. So if you know of anybody who is on WIC, they can simply purchase these on WIC for free. They, if they get WIC, they can receive these. So yes, breakfast tacos coming at you. Next, we have some mayo. I really am not a mayo per se uh, eater, but... I have a coupon for Hellman's Mayo. My daughter uh, tasted it with her and it was pretty cool. So I'm electing to get um, this mayo today for a dollar off. So if it's marked $3.98, that means it'll cost me $2.98. Next, we're going to try some Walmart brand bread today. Um, again, I like to buy things uh, one loaf at a time or one something at a time before actually stocking up on it. But I just I'm curious to see what is the difference between the other breads and my husband eats wheat bread. So I'll pick up a loaf of wheat bread as well. I'll probably call him to see if he wants to try this because my husband is very picky with certain things. But we're also going to pick up some hot dog buns and some hamburger buns because both of those guys are on our lunch menus for the week. All right, so we're going to pick up these hamburger buns. They are soft, though. I must admit, they do feel very, very soft. Next, we're going to pick up some Rotel. And um, there's a dip that I use, and I always use my Rotel tomatoes in it. And if you're noticing that I'm picking up items, guys, that go to meals, not just random items, putting them back on the shelf, but I like to grocery shop according to the meals that are prepared for the week. Next, I'm going to pick up this uh, Walmart brand, a great value brand, Chili. If you remember in a couple of videos ago, I tried the Chili. They liked it. We normally pick up Wolf brand, but I'm going to pick up this Chili again and see if it goes well, you know, goes over well with our hot dogs. 
dollar forty two. Like, and if you want chili with beans, it's twenty a dollar twenty four, which is a little cheaper. But I found out that most of the people in my house they do not prefer the beans with their uh, chili that they're gonna eat with a hot dog. Now I've mentioned about pulled pork before in the packets, but today I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick up a pulled pork in the package, and I'm gonna try it uh, instead of my sandwich tonight. I'll try the pulled pork, and if it's good, I'll buy more. If it's not, then well, I'll leave it here, of course. But I didn't want to pick up a lot of items again. I've tried the chicken; it was okay, but um, I really want to put try the pulled pork. The chicken I actually made it to a chicken a small chicken salad for myself. Next, I'm going to pick up bacon. This girl loves her bacon. Uh, I can eat bacon at any time, any place with any meal. So um, that's not a lot of people in my house preference, but my son and I, we love the bacon. So we'll be picking up bacon. But baby, this bacon is high. The cheapest I found is $3.72 after even checking couple a couple of other stores even guys the low brand chili i mean i'm sorry low brand bacon that i've tried even with you know the wrath it's even marked up higher now so we're gonna pick up this great value bacon for three dollars and 72 cents like oh my god prices the prices the prices y'all look at this 454 434 no way we have to do something. We have to do something. Start looking for a meat uh, uh, meat market and comparing your prices. Breakfast sausage, I normally pick up a couple of those. I may pick up some later, but not today. Okay, so this is the bacon that I'm choosing. It is $3.72. I've had this bacon before and it tastes really good. Next, we have butter. And although the, the tubs seem cool, and about the same price, if give or take, I'm going to pick up two packages of butter for $1.48 each, which will be like right at $3. Even though this is a little bit higher and it seems like it's more, I pick up the sticks, guys, because I portion out my butter and it gives me an idea of what, how much I have. So that's the way I buy my butter. Uh, eggs. Yes. So eggs. Um. I have a coupon for some eggs, but I'm looking at these eggs and I think I'm just going to grab these 18, 18 count uh, this time. I normally buy them in big bulks. Um, I'm going to see if they have one here. Um, there's a store that I've been using that get them 60 count, but they're a little high. So I'm actually looking today to see if I see the 36 pack bullet. Yes. OK, cool. So I'm going to pick I'm going to look at rather 60 eggs here. And let's check the price on it because $15 is too much. Look for a local farmer or someone who has chickens and maybe you can purchase your eggs from them. It may be a little cheaper. Yes, $10.86 is way better than $15. So I will look into that on my next major stock up. Next, we have cheese. Uh, I bought this pack of cheese uh, my last time I was in here and it went over well with my family. So I'm going to pick it up again. I'm not a cheese eater, but we have a couple of people in my home that love cheese. They like this brand. We are normal Velveeta eaters, but they like this brand. You know, they were like, Mom, whatever we have to do. So, hey, guess what? I'm going to pick it up again. It went over well. It saved me a dollar. So I'm going to pick it up again. And they also have this in a white cheese as well. And we can eat cheese toast. We can make different things like that with sandwiches. Next, we have wieners. I'm only going to pick up one pack of wieners today, guys, for our hot dogs. Uh, and you know it has to be beef because my husband loves beef uh, and my daughter does too. They don't eat the normal wieners. And these shelves, as you can see, are very, very empty. So our selection today is very, very few. Um... But I'm going to stock up more as it cl gets closer to the 4th of July because this is another item that they, they use for the 4th of July. And I'm sure someone is going to have a sale on their wieners. I'll be waiting and I'll stock up. But $2.48, OMG. OMG. Guys, make sure you like and comment and subscribe. Classic beef wieners. I saw this as I was shopping and this is a great way to stock up on your seasonings unless you, you stock up in bulk. These are only a dollar. And from time to time when I'm in Walmart, I like to just pick up one and just add it to our stockpile uh, of seasonings. 
Um, but they do have all season lemon pepper, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder. So stock up if you're looking for seasonings on the cheap. This is something that I love to come and pick up at Walmart. It's $5.97. It used to be right at $5. It's their drumsticks. You get 10 drumsticks in here for now almost $6, but it was $5. So I've noticed that it's been uh, raised for a dollar now. But I take the drumsticks out and I wash them and clean them and I put them in Ziploc bags and thereby it's able um, to go a little, a little, you know, stretch a little further for different meals. So... If you never tried these drumsticks, uh, see if they go and uh, work for your family's budget. But it is a very big go to for me. This is what my cart is looking like uh, so far. I did pick up the potatoes. However, I know I'm probably going to take them out. These potatoes are small. And uh, I normally pick up a big bag of 10 bag of uh, rusted tomatoes. I'm waiting on my husband for this wheat bread, but I got a feeling he's going to say no. And then I picked up a bag of broccoli. I don't need it. So I may put this broccoli back. I was just going to pick it up just because and just add on. But I don't need it. And that's what I'm trying to really work on. These shells for the soda. OMG are empty. Uh, I normally can pick up a Sam's uh, brand of orange. I don't know if you've ever tasted it, but it is really, really good. I'm a very big orange drinker, but they're totally empty. On to the next store. I only came in here to pick up two bags of nacho chips. When you buy two, they're 99 cents each, which is a great stock up for me, as well as their hot sauces marked down to 69 cents a bottle. It's not really a brand loyal thing for me, but 69 cents. I'm just going to pick up two of these and add it to the stockpile. And believe it or not, that was all I needed to pick up in this particular store. I went to Kroger's, guys, but I did forget to tape. So you'll look at that as we debrief at the house. And so here we are. And as you can see, these are my two bottles of uh, hot sauce. These are my two bags of uh, tortilla chips. Great with my dip this uh, week. As well as, as you can see here, this ground beef. I had a coupon at Kroger's. Buy two, get one free. I elected to get the smaller uh, things so that they could stretch for more meals. I also picked up a package of chicken tenderloins from my husband who loves them. Uh, and he uses the chicken. And then from, you know, uh, Walmart, as you can see, I have the hamburger buns, the hot dog buns. I picked up the Hellman's who tried to stiff me at the register. It wouldn't come up the same price as it is on the shelf, but I taped it. So she honored it. Uh, lettuce. I picked up some uh, peppers. Picked up this small cabbage and I picked up a bottle of 7-Up. It was a rollback for 97 cents. Um, some bacon here. My spring onions. Yeah, so my things were much, much needed. And I'm just, like I said, replenishing what's on my stock. So as usual, guys, I hope that this video is informative to you. I hope it was helpful in some type of way. Um, and I just believe in stocking up and replenishing. That's why we have the working pantry and then you have your emergency pantry so that you're never caught not prepared. Until the next video, guys, I love you. Bye.